Is this automatic chicken feeder rat safe? Behold, Monk on the Hill here. Yes, this chicken feeder is rat safe. Stick with me till the end of the video. I'll show you exactly how it works. Not that you are doing the same mistakes as I did. And from beginning on you won't have troubles with the rats. But first, let me tell you my story about the fight with the rats. It all started with the new chickens. They weren't used to that feeding throw and also not to the food I was giving them. They went all crazy in there and threw the food all over the place. Of course, it didn't took long. Rats realized that. They moved in and built a nest. I discovered it right over the door. I simply disturbed the nest and they moved out. Of course, not too far away. The rats just made a new nest there. My solution for that was... Giving the cat a possibility to go up there. Exactly like that. And not long after this rat's nest was empty. first thing you want to do to get rid of rats is to reduce their food sources. That means giving less food to the chickens at night so they are really emptying the throw that they don't leave anything left for the rats. And clean everything nice and neatly out. What I did as well was spreading some collected dog hair in the coop. Everywhere where I've seen rats walking, I left some dog hair. But that had only one effect. The next night, only one rat showed up. It was sitting there, looking down and making sure there's really no thread around. So she went back home, told the others, no problem in sight. Next night, they were all back. Another night, I even locked in this kitty for a short period of time. But the rats wouldn't even come off the ceiling. And then of course there was still the automatic feeder that was kind of an all-you-can-eat restaurant for the rats. I had this nice stand, but of course rats would just climb up here. My first idea was, yeah, you have to hang it up so they can't come up from the bottom. I cut off the legs, they were about that long, and used these stumps to hang it up on chains. But as you can see, they just climbed up the supporting beam, came down on the chains, further down on the chains, hanging on the stand, releasing the trigger, took one kernel up to eat it and the rest that fell down was for the rest of the group. My next step was to hang a big sheet of metal on the chains to block their way down to the feeder. But then they found another way. Look at this guy, he just jumps over and lands on the stand and again going for the trigger. Finally I removed the whole stand, removed everything where they could get a hold on it, drilled holes in the barrel, put a pipe through, some metal to support it, hung everything up and also removed the metal sheet because I wanted to give them a chance to get on the top 
because I came in with traps. I had quite success with this one. The thing is, you still have to get rid of the rat stem. First off, my dog took care of it. I took the trap with the rat in outside to an open area. The dog was next to it. I opened the trap. Rat ran out. Dog had fun. Problem solved. But after this little rascal came into our lives, my dog became friends with her. And she was tiny. Not much bigger than my biggest rats. So after that, my dog refused to kill small hairy animals. And if you want to release them, you have to bring them quite far away to prevent them to come back. Sometimes I did that effort and it left a better feeling instead of killing them. Then I brought in these killing machines. But again, the rats were clever. I had two of those traps, and with each, I caught two. After that, they just avoided it. Even after cleaning them carefully after each catch and supplying it with the yummiest bait I researched for, that's carrots and Nutella. They knew exactly what these traps are and stayed away from them. Then I found out where the rats are coming to the coop and because I knew they avoid the traps, I just put traps in their path and that actually helped quite a bit for a while and by catching some and less and less food around they became fewer and fewer but also they became desperate and destructive check this out they tried to chew through the feeder barrel but with a proper lid around this problem is solved as well and before we get to the actual feeder system if you like what you are seeing please subscribe to my channel Thank you. In my very first chicken coop, I made this feeder. Same system, but only with one trigger. So for that many birds that I have now, I want to have more triggers, more area that more birds can feed. If you only have like five or 10 chickens running around, something like that is okay. You can actually use container or whatever you have around. My thinking was the area where the weed is on is smaller so it's not spreading and the most of it will have the possibility to come out the bottom. So this thing you can close up on the top, hang it with whatever system you like it's pretty long so you can fill it up with how much you want it'll last quite a while now to the whole secret 
how this thing actually works. How this mechanism actually works is pretty simple. On the bottom of your Susan container, drill a hole. How big that hole must be depends on the screw you're using and what feed you're having. And on the screw lies the actual secret. It's a ring bolt. There are different kinds. Make sure there is no square or something down here. Everything needs to be round. It's hanging there and if a chicken pecks on the trigger, it'll move and some kernels will fall down. On the bottom of it, I just attached a simple bottle cap. So they have something to peck on. It might happen that the pesky little kernels arrange themselves around here, that they become stable and won't reach the hole anymore. So every now and then you just go push them up, wheel them around a bit. And they are good to go again for a while. But the most important thing you have to do is teaching at least to one chicken how this thing works. Make sure one chicken is around you knock on the trigger and make sure the chicken sees where the kernels are coming from and what you are doing. She'll understand pretty quickly and later on the others will learn from this one first chicken. After that, no more problems. So what do you think about the system? Do you have another one that's safe for rats? and gives you less work? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. And finally, it became much quieter in the chicken coop at night. But to be frank, there's still one or two rats around. They even enjoy my water system I have installed. You'll see about this in my next video.